Scott Eberts, SB Nation Recruiting, out here at uh, Texas State 7-on-7 seven seven with 2015 Salina quarterback Nathan Elliott. Uh, Nathan, how do you feel about your performance today? What do you think you did well? Uh, I think we all did really well. You know, uh, We hit the short game really well. That's what we do here at Salina. Uh, we, got, we improvised. We had to get the first downs. We got the first downs. You know, and we had to get touchdowns. We got those. Uh, I'm really happy with how we played today. Um, the receivers did great, man. All credit goes to them for sure. I mean, I can put the ball there, but they run great routes and catch everything out there. What about anything that you feel like you can improve on for tomorrow? Uh, I think we're going to need to get, you know, we need to work on our extra points. It's kind of weird, but, you know, our extra point hadn't been too good today. We did pretty good in this last game, but we definitely need to pick that up. Okay. And in terms of your recruitment, uh, any offers right now? Uh, yes, sir. I have an Army in North Carolina. So North Carolina, when did you get that offer? Uh, right at the end of the school year. How did that feel to just get your first big BCS offer out of the way? Uh, it was really awesome. You know, I've been wanting it for so long. I've been hearing all these other guys get them and finally got it. And it's so excited. And is North Carolina, are they looking at you as a quarterback or as an athlete? What are they talking to you about, quarterback? And is that what most of the schools that you're hearing from? Is that what they're saying, quarterback? Uh, what other schools are you are you hearing from? Do you feel like anyone's close to, possibly close to offering? Uh, TCU's been uh, really interesting, it sounded like, and I really like TCU. They're, they'd be my top team if they, if they offered me, but not right now it's North Carolina. Any other schools do you feel like are close besides TCU? Uh, I mean, TCU is probably the closest, but OSU hit it out a little bit while I was down there. And I really like OSU too, but that's the only one. What camps uh, did you have a chance to go to this summer? I've gone to Texas and OSU, but I still have North Carolina and that's the new And have you been down to visit North Carolina yet? No, I'm going July 19th. So what are you looking forward to the most about that visit? Uh, just seeing the campus, I heard it's really pretty out there, you know, and uh, meeting the whole coaching staff, because I've only been in contact with coaching here, so, and so that'll be really cool to be all there. And do you have uh, any type of timetable for your decision? Uh, I probably wouldn't make it anytime soon, you know, I want to wait until I get as much as I can. Okay, and uh, just in terms of what do you feel like stands out to schools about you as a quarterback, what would you say that is? I mean, I just, uh, I make plays, you know, whenever they, I'm not really good in the pocket, that's what I got to work on, you know. We don't do that in my device, but I have a pocket pass, which we're going to this year more. Yeah, I, I like to scramble and get out there and just be crazy out there. So do you feel like that's something that could help pick up your recruitment this year as you learn to work more in the pocket and, and kind of show schools that you have, a, have the ability to do that? Yes, sir, definitely. Anything else that you want to work on going into your uh, junior season? Basically, pocket, just being comfortable in there. You know, something you know, I haven't really done it that much, so uh, really good to work on that. All right, SB Nation recruiting. Uh, you just heard it from Nathan Elliott.